everybody, welcome to Dakman Productions and welcome to Conahay Rail. Today we got a special package from a place called Trains on eBay. That's Train with a Z, Trains. And uh, so we're going to uh, use a special knife to unbox it with today. And um, so this is this is what I'm using. I'm sure that will do just well. And uh, for those who don't know, that uh, special collector's knife, uh, it's a Marine's knife. So I figured uh, that would be perfect for veterans, uh, celebrating Veterans Day this month. And um, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and, and sort of like... <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not using this on that box. I'll be lucky if I don't cut my arm off. But anyway, uh, I do like to collect knives. I just wanted to show this one off. I don't know if Marines would really have a, a knife issue to them like this, but I thought it was cool and I bought it. So let's put that away. Back in its little sheath here. And yes, everything on there is razor sharp. Everything that you see. Um, so that's put away, and we'll take out something a little bit more uh, usable. So as I'm unboxing this, I'm going to talk a little bit about trains. Um, I see people like them, and then there's people who hate them. Um, so my take on that is... You know, I see people complain about, uh, you know, they buy stuff from trains and it's not as described or it's broken or, you know, there's, there's scratches on it. Listen, here's my thing on this. I, I've been buying from trains uh, ever since uh, I started this in 2015. And... Yes, I've gotten a couple things that weren't as described, but you got to understand that the grading system that they use, you know, that's just an opinion. And then sometimes the photos that they show don't always show the scratches. They don't always show the nicks. So, yeah, it's hard to buy something. Um that you're just looking at through photos and going by somebody's opinion. Uh, so you got to keep that in mind that you're buying a used piece. If it says used, that's what it is. It's used. It could be have nicks, it could have scratches, it could have damage, it might not have been taken care of, yada, yada, yada. You have to understand that. With that being said, um, I have gotten things damaged from trains that weren't as described and you know I don't get upset over it because there's one of two things I can do. I can fix it or I can contact them and send it back one or the other. So <clears throat> and I never ever had a problem with getting a full refund from trains, including my shipping. Is it a hassle to take it back? Yeah, it is. But it's no different than if you went to Walmart and you bought a TV and you drove it all the way home and you got it out of the box and you got it set up and then it doesn't work. Now you got to put all that back together and take it back to Walmart. It's really no different. Walmart gives you your money back. Um, so, I, I deal with trains only because I know that if I don't like it, or if I'm not happy, they will give me my money back. If it's something I really, really want and the damage is not too bad, I'll fix it. But their average, let me tell you, I go by average. Their average, I would say about 90% of the trains that I bought from them have been as what they said it was. Um, sometimes they, you know... Things get overlooked, and it happens. Um, 
people would probably say, yeah, they should inspect their stuff a little bit better. But you can buy a brand new Lionel or MTH locomotive and then not work right out of the box. And then you take it back to Lionel, only the warranty, you're out, you know, it could be three or six months before you even see it again. So they're, they're, you take a chance with anything, so that that's my take on it. So do I keep the Illumina trains? Yes, because they come up with the stuff that I want. That's why I deal with them. And I know that if I'm not happy, they will refund my money. As long as you show pictures, that's that's the key. Everybody's like, oh, I didn't get a refund. They fought me. All right, did you take pictures? You got to show them that this stuff came damaged. And you got to realize that uh, some eBay sellers also take a chance of getting ripped off because, you know, somebody could be buying something from them that they already have, but it's busted, and then claim that that product they bought from them is busted. So they send back their broken train, and they got your train. And that has happened before. So it's, 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 I figured if I'd talk about that while I'm unboxing. But the reason why this is a, such a special unboxing is because these are the tank cars that I've been really, really looking for. These Procore, these Lionel 30K. Uh, pro core tank cars. Uh, I've really been uh, wanting these. Um, when Ryan L first came out with these uh, 30k pro core tank cars, um, I already had spent a whole ton of money on other things and I couldn't afford them. And he's quickly, quickly sold out. Uh, so I was very. <laughs> Disappointed and they've been really really hard to find at least as a three car set with the box so uh, Like I said Trains comes up with the product for the thing that I'm looking for so um, If you decide okay, well, that's all well and good, but I'm still not dealing with them. well, that's up to you but I'm gonna continue to deal with them because their average of sending things as described is higher than the if it was the other way around where I was getting mainly broken stuff and it wasn't described and very little as described then that would be a different story but like I said 90% maybe even more 95% of stuff I get from them is as described uh, the last batch the last three pack I got of ADM tank cars uh, the air tanks were broke off, and that could happen in shipping. That that doesn't necessarily mean that they knew that the tanks were broken. They probably were okay when they packed it. it probably got broken in shipping. Well, that's fine. I glued them back on. I decided to keep them because those aren't easy to find either. Uh, so we're going to take these out and we'll throw them up on the track, and uh, we'll take a little closer look at them. So here is the uh, one of the Lionel 30K Procore tank cars out of the box. And once again, like I said, it's used. Um, so you're going to have to expect, you know, that it's been run. Um, you're going to have to expect that, you know, it's certain things to happen. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you a little example here. So. This came through, and uh, and this is what happened to two of the last few cars he said. The air tank was broke off. But like I said, I'm, I'm not going to get upset over that. I'm not going to send these back because these are hard to find. I'm just going to simply glue this on and be done with it. Um, am I going to give them negative feedback? Or would I give them uh, neutral feedback? No, I'm kind of like an understanding guy. I know things happen in shipping. I'm not like a, a jerk like that. I'm not saying you know if you're if you're if that's your opinion. If you want to send neutral negative feedback, that's up to you. But um, for me, this is no big deal. I'll just glue this back on. So I'd rather have the tank car because it, it took me two years to find these. So this is not a big deal. If there was like 
major damage to it, then yeah, I would have to send it back. And even when I sent something back, I mean, I just don't leave any feedback at all. Um, because the reason why I don't leave feedback is because they do refund my money. No questions asked. So there's no need to send neutral or negative feedback if you're getting your money back. Were you inconvenienced and hassled? Yeah. But that that goes for whatever you buy, whether you go to Walmart or wherever, and you buy that TV, like we were saying, and you get half the hassle returning it. So it's just part of life. Uh, that's how I view it. Um, and yes, these will come through dusty. Um, so I see people, oh yeah, I bought these used trains and they were really dusty. Well, there's a reason why people leave them dusty because they don't want to take the chance of cleaning them and damaging the fine details. They'll leave it up to the person who receives it, whether they want to dust it or not. So what I do is I have a paintbrush, just like this, and I also have a parts paint, uh, parts washer brush too, but I like using this better. And, you know, you know I'll just simply, and, and what's nice about this, it's a soft brush, the paintbrush, two inch paintbrush, soft, and you can get into the fine details, but see that? You can get into these handrails better without breaking them with, with a soft brush or a parts brush. And, and you know, I have never damaged anything using this soft brush. Now it's just a basic um, paintbrush. Uh, that you can use and you just sort of like go along and brush it off and um, well I mean it looks I mean you didn't see how dusty it was but using this works pretty good so <clears throat> I if I'm buying something used I'd rather that person who is selling it to me not clean it let me clean it I'd rather clean it because that way, you know, if I break a detail part off, it's on me. Because I didn't clean it properly. If they break something off, trying to sell it, then, yeah, I mean, that might be a little bit <laughs> different story. But, um, I just want to show you guys that, you know, buying something used, don't be afraid to buy something used. Even if it's a little bit of damage, I mean, it's not that big of a deal as long as you pay, you don't pay premium price for it. Because in real life, you know, <laughs> freight cars aren't perfect either. But yeah, you can get some good deals on stuff that's not perfect out there. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, damaged cars make perfect projects for like uh, weathering and putting graffiti on them. So this basically completes my uh, tank train that I've been trying to create. I'm, I'm pretty happy now. So that gives me 18 30K tank cars, uh, plus the buffer car, plus the two buffer cars. So it gives me a 20 car tank train, which isn't too bad. I mean, that's about as long as I'm going to make it. I don't, <laughs> so I'm pretty much done with that unless Lionel does. The only way I would buy anything else is if Lionel made the pro core in green so if you line out if you happen to catch this um please make the pro core tank car in green uh I, i'm sure that would sell out in a heartbeat the 30k tank cars in green uh even in real railroading it's kind of rare to see green pro core tank cars and also pro core made uh or had uh white ones as well so i would probably buy them too but other than that, um, I'm done with the tank car train. And uh, so I would put this on and run it, but I'll leave that for another video because I already posted a uh, video of my tank train running a couple weeks ago. And I just want to mention that I appreciate everybody who watches uh, Deck Band Productions and Conahay Rail. Been trying to entertain everybody with uh, Conahay Rail 
uh, with, um, you know, during this train show shut down uh, during COVID. Uh, so, it, for those who don't know, it takes uh, it takes quite a bit to set up uh, trains for videos, you know. So, I spend an average of about three to four hours uh, creating a video for you guys to watch. Just to give you an idea. So, I spend half of my Saturday just... Uh, shooting video for you for you guys entertainment and uh and and i like doing that because uh you know you guys are supporting my channel even during this uh covid shutdown of train shows because my thing is you know Dakman productions has been about bringing you train shows but since i have not been able to do that since january i've been bringing you videos of my own uh, O-Gage layout, and, um, currently, I'm very close to 200,000 watched hours, uh, I'm working on trying to have a virtual open house tour, so, one of two things are going to happen, and I know I can get this done, but I'm still, I still want to finish up a couple things before I have this open house tour. Uh, I don't, I'm probably host it live on YouTube, and uh, so I still have a couple things to do uh, before I can make that happen. But either I'll do it when I hit two hundred thousand watched hours, or um, I probably will do it by the end of the year or before the end of the year. So one way or the other, I'll make it happen, and uh, I'll see. If I can come up with something to give away, maybe a Conahay Rail t-shirt or something like that. I mean, I can't afford to give away much, but um, at any rate, uh, once again, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.